Hey, this is Adam Knackers, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you 104 high-paying work-at-home jobs that literally anyone can do. So if you're someone who's just looking to create more freedom and flexibility in your life so you can work from home, and maybe you've, you've scanned what's out there, and there's a lot of opportunities and shiny objects, and you're looking for the skills and the jobs that are in demand right now, I wanna emphasize how awesome it is, first of all, that you're doing that, because the reality is shiny objects and opportunities come and go, but if you focus on skill development, You'll always have those skills and you'll always be valuable to the marketplace and able to create a good livelihood for yourself. And just so you understand why I'm in a position to help you here. Five years ago, I was in a situation that might have been similar to where you are now. I was looking for a way to create more flexibility because I was in a job I really despised. It was hard for me to get up in the morning. I was an IT consultant and I'm an adventurous soul, all right, an adventurer at heart. And I was determined to figure out a way to be able to create a livelihood while I was able to, while traveling, all right? And so- I started to look around. I had tried a lot of different things and then I discovered Upwork. All right. And I'm going to show you what Upwork is. So, you know, uh, um, a little bit about me and how I've gotten here. So Upwork is a freelancing platform. It's where businesses go to find remote talent, right? So it's a great place to do this research because it's where it's actually happening. It's where businesses are going and hiring talented remote workers. Okay. So if you look at my profile, you can see I'm a Facebook ads and sales funnel specialist. Um, I've done quite well on this platform. And by the way, this is a single platform. All right. I get clients a number of different ways. This is just one way. Um, I charge a really good rate. You can see my work history too. So if you just search with my name, Adam Knackers and Upwork, you'll find my profile. You can, you know, and I'm, I'm showing this for a couple of reasons. Number one, so you can see what's possible, where you can get to very quickly, but also so you know, I'm actually qualified to help you with this. Okay. Now I've put together this list, um, 104 high paying work at home jobs that anyone can do. This is all jobs that in skills that I've called from a list from Upwork of freelancers that are making a minimum of $60 an hour, okay? And they've all, I, I, I filtered based on when they earned too. So they had to have earned within the last two weeks so that you know this is a valid updated list, okay? Now, when you choose skills, it's important that it, they meet three criteria. You wanna choose skills that are in demand, okay? And by in demand, I mean, like if you're skilled at basket weaving, that's a skill, right? But it's not in demand. Businesses are not looking to hire basket weavers, okay? So it doesn't qualify. You want to choose a skill that has a high perceived value. So think like dentist versus secretary. A dentist has skills that are in, have a very high perceived value so they can charge a lot, right? Whereas a secretary has skills that, um, you know, are, are just easier to find, right? A secretary is way more easy to replace. I don't want to diminish the importance of secretaries, but it's just a reality right? Dentists make a ton for a reason. They have a, their skills have a high perceived value. And then you want to choose skills that can be learned relatively quickly and online without requiring like a formal education. We live in a totally different area uh, um, era now where, you know, just about anything you want to learn is at your fingertips, right? Via the internet. And I'm actually going to go into that a little bit. Um, I'm not going to go through all of these skills. If you want this whole list, all you need to do is click the link below this video. You'll see, I have resources there, but you'll see a link to this document. OK, um, so basically I've divided these skills up into three categories. So category one is the skills that you can learn the most quickly and and can also start earning uh, quickly. OK, and basically they all fall under this umbrella of digital marketing. So if you don't know what digital marketing is, um, basically digital marketing encompasses any skill that where you're helping businesses generate customers or leads or sales using the internet, okay, in some form. So like PPC, when I refer to PPC, I'm referring to pay-per-click advertising. That's like Facebook ads, Google ads, Bing ads, right? Video marketing, another way to help businesses. That's like YouTube, right? Um, email marketing is helping businesses like when, as they're building their email list and their subscriber list, communicate with that list and follow up to drive sales, right? So it's not important that you understand all of this right now. In fact, make sure if you haven't already that you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to have more training on how you can further develop these skills and also get clients, okay? So it's not important from this video that you necessarily understand what all of these are. Um, again, I'm not going to go through each of these. I just wanted to make this list. Um, so you have this sort of broad understanding of the types of skills that are in demand right now. Okay. But again, the reason I like category one and I recommend it, especially if you're just starting out is because these are skills that you can learn relatively quickly and start earning really quickly. So like when I made the decision to step down from my job, my, both my wife and I did actually five years ago in December of two thir 
2013, we took off and we've been traveling the world literally for the past five years. We've lived in Costa Rica. We've lived in Europe. We've lived in Thailand. We've lived in Peru. We've been able to visit and live in like all these areas around the United States that we've always wanted to explore while having this freelance, this livelihood from freelancing and, and focusing on specific skills. Okay. And these are the skills. Okay. So I've also divided it by like technical and creative. So if you're more like a technical analytical type, you'll probably look at, you'll want to look at these, right? If you're more creative, you might want to, you might want to look here, right? So like multimedia pro graphic design. So now what I want to talk about is, so in case you're wondering, well, all right, great, Adam, these skills are awesome. How can I start actually learning and earning? Right? So the best one, here's the reality. Just about anything you want to learn now can be learned online. And there's, there's a couple of, um, resources I really recommend, especially for digital marketing. If you want to learn um, any of these skills, one of the best places to start is to go to Udemy. All right. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to go to Udemy and I'm going to do a search and we'll just pick one of these. And again, every skill that's listed here was one that I took from a freelancer profile who was earning at least $60 an hour. So all of these skills meet all those criteria I just went over. So let's look at, um, like Marketo is, is a, a marketing tool. So let's let's see if there's a Marketo course. You're going to be blown away by this. If you have never seen Udemy before, it's amazing. How to create a, and run a live event in Marketo. Marketo for managers. How to personalize your emails in Marketo. Like there's all this training. Let's pick another one too, just so you can see. Like it's literally anything you want to learn. Um, SEO. So SEO refers to search engine optimization. If you've ever done a search on Google and then you see websites that are ranked, if you're an SEO, you're helping businesses rank in those search engines. All right. So let's search with SEO. Check this out because some of this is just ridiculous. SEO 2019. This is a complete SEO training for $12.64. Gone are the days where you have to go to college for four years, spend tens of thousands of dollars, only to get a piece of paper that might not even land you a job. If you want to learn skills that are in demand right now, you can go to, to platforms like Udemy and get the training for less than like a couple, what, cups of coffee, right? This is ridiculous. Let's let's just search for one more. Um, let's look at, uh, how about, um, what's a good one? Salesforce. This is another like uh, marketing tool. So let's look up Salesforce. The, com the complete Salesforce classic administrator certification. I mean, this is a way for you to essentially get the equivalent of a certificate to get certified as a Salesforce admin for $11. <laughs> um, I'll do another one because I know a lot of people are like, you know, if you're if you're more creative, maybe graphic design is something that would appeal to you more. The ultimate, uh, let's see. Illustrator CC, Adobe Illustrator is a tool, basically one of the main tools you use as a graphic designer. Illustrator 2020 masterclass for $10.44. So again, unbelievable opportunity here to get educated quickly. And then again, just to kind of continue my story, when I started freelancing, once my wife and I realized we were going to quit our jobs and do this, I was able to get educated fairly quickly using the internet like this. Um, and these platforms have matured, by the way, the courses on there are better now. And then I went on to Upwork and I was able to get jobs within a couple of weeks. All right. It's incredible. And again, I'm not going to go into how I get clients on this video. Stay tuned to my channel because I have that training for you as well. And I'll be creating more updated training. Just make sure you subscribe, okay? So that's category one. And that's where I recommend you start. Category two, I basically put this one category of jobs in its own, um, which is computer programming. Basically learning how to um, programming languages for specific types of like, whether it's web uh, mobile app software development, right? Um, and there's all these different platforms in languages. So there's like Magento is a, a platform you can code on. Um, MS Access and VBA, this that VBA is a programming language. .NET is like a programming platform. Um, PHP, JavaScript. Now here's the deal. I only recommend this category for people who feel like they're inclined to go this route. Like I think, you know, I actually have a bit of a background with programming. Um, but I personally burnt out on that and that's why I went the digital marketing route. But if you're someone who like feels like they might have an in inclination towards programming or you, you could easily like, you know, see yourself being passionate about it, then I think it's a great opportunity because there is no shortage of needs for programmers and that will continue to grow, right? Because technology only expands and grows basically in terms of its 
um, you know, businesses let, needing to develop programming, right? D develop different apps and websites and applications and software, right? Those, those needs are only going to grow. Okay. So here's the caveat with this though. It's a, from my perspective, the reason I didn't include this in category one is because once you start to develop the skills, you might find it's a challenge to compete with people who have experience, right? So if you're going to do this, my suggestion is as you're developing any of these skills, create your own portfolio pieces. Just like, like, for example, if you were going to learn like, uh, um, iOS, Android, iOS, Android app development, that's basically developing, um, you know, apps, right? Like smartphone apps. I would create your own demo app, right? Like as you're learning, create your own demo app or two of them or whatever. So you're starting to build a portfolio, which will make you look more attractive when you actually then start looking for jobs. Okay. Because, because like I said, as a rule, you know, people are getting into computer programming and, and they're going to hire for it. They're going to, you know, they don't care at all. If you have a degree that we've, we've really entered a phase where businesses don't care about that piece of paper anymore, but they do want to have belief that you can deliver the result. And that's why one thing that's really important to have is you're in, regardless of what you're doing is that you, you think creatively about how to create a portfolio. All right. It's the same thing I did when I got started on the platform is I just, I knew I was going to focus on a uh, sales funnel optimization. So I created my own sales funnel templates that I could then put into, um, you know, I, my portfolio on Upwork, right? Okay. So that's category two. And again, to learn these, you can go to a site called lynda.com or code, code Academy, Linda and Udemy as well. Udemy has everything basically, but if you want sites that are a little bit more oriented to coding, I would check out lynda.com and code at code Academy. I believe you can get a lynda.com a membership for like 30 bucks a month that gives you access to like their entire library of programming courses, which is obscene. I mean, compare that to what people pay to go to college, right? It's, it's insane. All right. And then category three, this is going to be more for people that are like coming from the corporate world and have, have had higher level positions or have had a ton of experience in their respective industry. I don't recommend category three for anyone who's just trying to start from scratch and doesn't have that kind of a background or advanced degree. But if you're someone who's come from corporate and you've just always wanted to create more flexibility and freedom and, and have thought about pursuing freelancing, then this is great. What I've done is I've broken out all of the jobs that I found that kind of fill, fit this bill that by industry. So you'll see like this is IT, data engineering, integration, education, writing, business consulting, financial accounting, legal, engineering, and science. Okay. And again, each of these, each of these, um, that I've listed represents an actual freelancer or multiple freelancers that I saw actually specify this as their title, right? And they're earning well, all right? So all of these are valid skill sets that equate to jobs that are earning right now on the Upwork platform, okay? So now that you have this big picture understanding, you know, like I said, if you wanna be able to kind of drill into this more and, and look at all these jobs, then I urge you to click the link below so you can download this guide. I'll have additional resources as well in the description below this video. And then make sure you stay tuned to my channel as I'm going to continue to provide amazing training, not just on, you know, providing you this awareness, but how you actually then grow your freelancing business, get clients. Okay. So make sure you stay tuned, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.